Good morning everyone, how are you doing? I'm back, I'm back from holiday. I had the most amazing time. I really felt like I was able to switch off. I had like one work commitment I had to do while I was on holiday, but apart from that, I really switched off. I felt very like present and in the moment. I had so much fun with my kids, with Rich, and it was a really, really lovely holiday. I did a little Q and A on my Instagram. I don't know if you guys saw that. Just talking a little bit about going on holiday with kids. I feel like we're starting to like suss it out a little bit and get to know what works for us. And you know what? It really wasn't as like hard as I imagined going away with two kids would be. But I mean, where we went made it so much easier. We went to a place called Sani. We stayed in Porto Sani in Greece. And it was just really, really wonderful. We went with some friends, which was really nice as well. Just really special. And oh, I just feel like I had a proper summer holiday. I haven't been away for 10 days since I was like a kid. Proper jumping in the pool, going in the see summer holiday and it just I feel really good for it. I'm happy to be back though. I'm excited to get back into work. It's always a little bit harder to get back into YouTube than it is other things. It's like a little bit more effort to like get the camera around and do the editing and all of that but it's it's Wednesday now so I thought if I get going now I can get a video up for this Sunday. I just wanted to like chat and say hi really and catch up a little bit. I'm at home today doing a little bit of work. Rich has actually taken both kids to a baby sensory class. It's for Rudy, but you can like pay for siblings to go and Grey doesn't really get to go to classes anymore. So she's really excited to go with. I just thought in this video, we could hang out at home. I can catch up with you guys about a few of my like favorite things. I don't really do favorites videos anymore. So I can show you some like current favorite things I've been loving some like new things around the home. The weather at the moment, obviously I can't not talk about the weather because I'm British. It's glorious. We've come back from holiday to beautiful, sunny summer weather. That makes all the difference. Everyone in the UK is just so much happier when the weather is good. So that is why I'm in pretty much PJs. I'm in like a vest top and shorts, just trying to keep cool. I've just done my makeup. I did a five minute makeup look on Instagram. It's not even a look. This is the makeup that I did every evening on holiday. I just you only had about five minutes to get ready so it was like super quick makeup and I just filmed it in real time before Instagram so you go have a look at that if you'd like to. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram when I shared my day with Georgia and us shooting for a job that was actually yesterday when filming this um, she's just uploaded some photos to we have like a little shared album on our phones she's just uploaded some photos onto there and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna favorite the ones I like so that she knows which ones to edit for the video. These are all the photos that we took yesterday. I just came downstairs to one of those cards that says you were out, you missed your delivery. But I was definitely in. Maybe I didn't hear the doorbell. They've left it with my neighbor. So I'm just gonna pop next door to go and get that, whatever it is. That was really funny. I just went to my neighbor and I said, did something get left for me? And she was like, well, I'm not sure because it's not your name, but it's your address. And it says on the on the parcel, Lydia Elise Millen, but with my address. <laughs> this does happen sometimes. I'm gonna open it up and I'll let the brand know. I don't know if it's meant for her or meant for me or both of us. She's probably got a parcel with my name on. Oh, it's Victoria Beckham Beauty. Very exciting. Reflect highlighter stick. Whoa. Look at this. Fancy. I actually really like Victoria Beckham Beauty. So it comes in this very pretty stick. You roll it up. Let's have a look. Wait, I feel like I need to look. Can you see this? That looks really nice. Oh. The problem is with these sort of things, I'm like, oh, that looks really nice. And then I put it in the sun. As soon as I put it in the sun, it's just so glittery. I don't know if that's showing on camera, but I just don't like, like when I know my face is in the sun, I don't want to look glittery. It's such a shame. It's really hard to find highlighters that don't have glitter in them. It's really beautiful packaging. Just not, not a fan of glitter. Whilst I'm down here in the kitchen, let me show you one of my new favorite things in my home. This is from Oliver bonus. I actually bought one for my sister as a moving in present and I had to get one for myself as well because I love it. It is beautiful. You could use this for olives and then put like loads of 
um, like bits around the edge, like falafel and pita bread and things, or you could put like a dip, like a hummus um, on this inside bit. It's such a gorgeous serving plate and I've just been leaving it there to display it. Oliver Bonus have so many nice things in at the moment. Let me show you some kid related things that I have been loving. I ordered this from Amazon, you would have seen it on my Instagram. It's just a little container and it has a little scoop in it and Grey uses it to serve herself breakfast in the morning and it is so cute, makes her feel really grown up, gives her a bit of control and responsibility which three-year-olds crave and also means that she's sorting out her own breakfast. We obviously don't keep it this high up. I, I put it, actually, I'll show you where I put it. We have this little Ikea table and chairs, so I'll put the cereal here in the morning and she'll serve herself. I'll put the milk in for her and she loves it. And it's just like one less thing for me to do. Also kid related, this rug. This is from Totter and Tumble, I think. I love this. I really wish I'd got one when Grey was little. Why did I wait so long? I don't know about anyone else who has two kids, but I really like begrudge buying things, like big investment things for Rudy because I don't know if I'm having any more kids and it feels really like wasteful. And it's like, oh, I wish I'd just done that with Grey and then I could have got use out of it for both kids, but whatever. It's a really nice, like cushiony kind of matting. It's um, reversible, so it's got this print on one side, this print on the other. It's nice and big. This is actually the compact, smaller size. And it means that Rudy can sit there, and if he falls over, he doesn't hurt himself. It's very like hardwood on our floor. It like creates a nice like zone area for toys and for playing. And yeah, I really, really, I really like it. Very happy with that. These actually, whilst I'm in this little area, these are from Lywood. I was actually sent these. These are their new like. Um, what they called crates. They stack really nicely. They're really cool. I already had these little ones, um, but these are bigger and they come in like different colors. I feel like I haven't bought any like new furniture or home bits for a while. We're just very much in that like young baby phase. I remember going through this with Grey where I felt like I wasn't really looking after my home properly and it, everything felt a bit messy and toys everywhere. And because he's my second, I know that this passes and suddenly it gets to the point where you feel like you've got your home back a little bit. So I'm just like enjoying it in the moment, letting there just be a lot of plastic, colorful stuff everywhere and not really worrying about that at the moment. So I haven't got many like new home things, I don't think to show you. One of my absolute food favorites, I haven't got the packaging to show you because Rich, whenever, whenever our cardio comes, he takes the packaging off the chocolate because apparently it's too, too big to fit in this little thing which we keep our chocolate in. So he like breaks it in half and he just keeps it in the, in the foil bits. I can't show you what it looks like, but it's the Lint dark chocolate with orange. I've always known that dark chocolate is better for you. Like I try, you know, if I'm gonna have a bit of chocolate, something sweet in the evening, everyone says have dark chocolate is better for you, but I've never liked it. I've always found it too bitter, but this is an amazing discovery if you're not a massive fan of dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with orange, it just adds that like slightly fresh, it takes away the bitterness. I'm gonna try a little bit, you know, for content purposes. <laughs> it looks like this, and it's got the little bits inside. Oh my God, it's so good. This is like the first dark chocolate I've ever enjoyed. So that's been my like evening treat. We keep them in this Portuguese, like sardine container, a bit random, but also means that Grey doesn't know there's chocolate in there. Another favorite whilst I'm in the kitchen, these. These are from Better You. We have used these for years. It's a vitamin D spray. I've done lots of research um, into like how much vitamin D we need and um, I'm also super worried and paranoid about it for like mole and skin cancer reasons but anyway this is what we take this is the adult no sorry this is the adult one the green one better you d3000 vitamin d oral spray so it's a spray I haven't done it yet today oh I missed spray it in your mouth tastes kind of minty and then we've also got one for kids we only use it for gray d400 vitamin d daily oral spray. She loves it. She lets us spray it in her mouth. It's fun. Um, these are really, really handy. I think they do a load of other things as well, but we just have their vitamin D sprays. Okay, the first favourite I want to show you from my wardrobe is this black denim jacket from What The Brand, um, which is the brand by the We Are Twin Set Girls. Do not style it with um, pyjama shorts. 
<laughs> can't say it's my best look, but I just wanted to show you the shape of the jacket. I feel like you can't really see on camera, but it's kind of oversized. I think I went for the large, which is, so I, I wanted it like extra oversized. It's a really good length, a really good shape. And I've found myself throwing this on a lot. I love a jacket in this kind of weather where you're not sure if it's going to be like cooler in the evening or you know, it's a bit unpredictable. And black has been really handy because you can wear it with jeans without feeling like, you know, you're doing the whole Canadian tuxedo thing all the time. Really been loving this. The linen short sleeve shirts from Arquette are incredible. I love the shape. They're so easy to wear and throw on over a vest top, but this color in particular is just happiness in a shirt. Love it so, so much. Been wearing this loads. This dress I bought before holiday and I just love the shape of it. It's it's green, it's quite like colourful for me, but I really love the sleeves, I love the neckline, I love the button, I love the um, elastic here, and then I also really love the length and the slit. I mean, everything is perfect about this dress. I think it is really, really flattering and it's very, very comfortable, which is obviously very important to me. I'll link this one below in the description box if it's still in stock. Oh my gosh, this dress is so perfect. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> I feel like I found the perfect summer evening dress. Okay, so first of all, the straps tie up little bows on the shoulder, really nice neckline, and then it's like quite a full maxi skirt. It's got like a really nice swish to it. And this is what it looks like full length. It's a really, really soft fabric. So I haven't said where this is from. This is from the White Company. Um, I have been doing a job with them. It probably hasn't even gone live yet. So I feel like this is a bit of a sneak peek. It's just gorgeous. It's so nice. I feel amazing in it. Sorry, you can literally see a toilet in all of these shots. I don't know if that's annoying or not. Um, I really, really love this dress so much. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Oh, hay fever. I'm going to a Glossier event tonight and I think I might wear this. I don't know if it's a bit overdressed, it's just like an event in their store, but because it's summery and it's hot, I feel like you can get away with wearing kind of summery maxi dresses. And yeah, I just feel, I feel great in it. So really happy with this find. I just got another delivery and I think this is a new splash mat for under Rudy's high chair. I almost got the one that Anna recommended and then I almost got a really cheap one that I thought would be good to be a bit more portable, like if I go to my mom's house. A splash mat, by the way, that goes under the high chair. I can already tell that Rudy is gonna be a much messier eater than Grey was. <laughs> Our floor is actually quite easy to clean, but it's just really annoying every time having to like clean it from like all the bits in the floor and stuff. The cheaper one didn't look very wipeable. Anyway, I then saw this one, which I thought was a much better shape for us, actually, because a lot of them are really big and rectangular. This one's like a half moon shape and I thought that would work quite well for our space. So let's have a look. I ordered it from Kidley and the brand is called That's Mine. It's from Denmark, which is why it looks so nice. <laughs> this is the color and it's got tiny little dinosaurs on it. There actually wasn't a choice of print, so I just went for this one. It's got this label on it. How am I meant to open that up without totally ripping it? What if it doesn't fit and I don't like it? How can I send it back? I'm really trying to caref open it carefully, but it's like properly stuck down. This is exactly why we need a splash mat. There's literally food stuck in between. Oh my God, I think that's Play-Doh. Oh man. I'm trying to give it like a bit of a clean before I put the mat down. Okay, this is what it looks like. I've tucked it slightly under our dining table and I liked that it was straight that end and then curved this end because we have a lot of square things in our house. I hate our dining table and I'm desperate to find a new one but I can't find one anywhere. I do want an oval dining table. This is rectangular, our island is rectangular, everything's very square and rectangular, so I thought a bit of curve would be nice. I also wanted it to fit here and I knew we'd have this mat here and I didn't want them to kind of, you know, be too close to each other. So I love the shape and the color and the quality is great. I'm not sure 
that it's going to catch much of the food. Like, I think we'll definitely get food over here. But that's just the space we're working with. And it's better than nothing. And all the food that's directly under him will get caught. So, yeah, I think I'm happy with it. Did I tell you that we planted plants in our garden? I can't remember. But it's very exciting. We have had empty beds in our garden for so long. We didn't want to like invest too much in the garden. We don't know if we're here forever. And gardens can just be really expensive. We looked at so many different options. And in the end, we got advice from a neighbor who's a gardener um, who helped us pick the plants. But then we went to buy them. And then we got my parents' gardeners to plant them because we just didn't want to mess it up and it would have been a massive waste of money. But we're maintaining them. So let me show you the progress. I can't tell you the names of the plants and stuff. Rich knows, maybe he'll tell you later. This corner of the garden is very moist and damp and shady. So these are the plants we have going on here. Obviously everything's very spacious now because they need to grow. Like this one's gonna be a big bush one day, but not for a long time. So they look a bit spaced out now. But I really like this. We've got something there that I don't know what it is. A lot of ferns. <gasps> Look at this. That's very exciting. That one's going to be pretty. Some other things that I don't know what they are. A lot of like filler bushes. Those, those aren't very interesting. Oh, this one's doing really well. I really liked this one. I loved the kind of pale colour of it. This fern also looks very happy over there. This corner is very sunny. I'm uh, pretty sure that's rosemary. Whoa, can you see that spider behind? Pretty sure that's rosemary, uh, which we've been using. Uh, that's why we put it at this end, so it's like nearer the kitchen. Uh, I don't know what this one is, but it looks nice. These are all weeds that we need to get rid of. We're doing that this weekend. Um, these are greys. <laughs> don't know what that is. Oh, wait, maybe that's rosemary. One of them's lavender and one of them's rosemary. Not sure. This one's doing very well. This one's growing really fast. Our neighbor actually gave us this um, from her garden, which was very sweet. That looks a bit unhappy, but it's got really cool leaves. A little bit of lavender for the bees. Not doing amazingly, I have to say, but hopefully one day it will. These all look like kind of big filler ones. We've got a massive concrete slab here that's under the soil that we'd need to get like a digger in to remove and we don't have side access, so think this is just gonna have to have a pot or something on it and then I don't think there's anything on this part maybe we ran out of money I'm not sure oh my god so many spider webs but in this corner we have a banana tree banana tree banana plant this was my request I think they look so cool when they're massive and I thought it would look really cool at the back of the garden but they they love hot sunny climates which is not really the UK and it might be a bit shady back here. It doesn't look happy, I have to say. Look at that, look at that leaf. That does not look happy. There is a new leaf coming, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I can't say it looks like the happiest banana plant of all time. Uh, I'm not sure if we are planning on moving its position or not, but for now it's here. Hopefully one day it will be massive. I just came downstairs to these gorgeous flowers and I was like, wow, who are these from? Apparently they're from my brother-in-law for my sister for their anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> So they're not even for me. He's just storing them here. Gray's home from her class. Look at these cute little shorts. I love your outfit. You can't get me. <laughs> You've got I'll get you ready. One, two, three, go. <laughs> what did you make this for? For Father's Day. Oh, that's so nice. Is that your hand? And that uh, one? Yeah. What colour paint is it? Um, orange, green, black. Grey, what should we do this afternoon? I'm going to Gaga's. You go to Gaga's house? Yeah. yeah. Gaga is my mum and she just got back from holiday, so I think we will go and say hello because she hasn't seen, we haven't seen her since before we went away. It's been a really long time. So I think we will head over to my mum's this afternoon and then yeah. come back do kids bedtime and then I've got the Glossier event. Oh my gosh, Grey, you need to clean up all your kinetic sand. It's so messy. Look at this, Grey's been playing with kinetic sand. Let's see, I feel like this is a good test of what, what did the mat collect? The mat collected quite a lot, but look. Oh man. Okay, Grey wants to sing, wants to sing her song. Okay, ready, steady, go. Hey dude, don't make it bad. Make a sad song and make it better. Remember to learn your heart. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love you. 
Okay, I'm gonna quickly change my clothes and go and see my mum. I'm not gonna vlog tonight, I think I'll share it on stories instead. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Just a little quick checking in vlog and I'll be back next week. I think I'm vlogging again next week. Yeah, because I'm working with a brand. I'm actually really excited about that one. All right, hope you guys have had a good weekend and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.